I got a text from Macy's vet and a voicemail. I think something's wrong. X-rays, um, kind of screening X-rays today. Those are concerning to me. Those look like potentially she could have a foreign body or something in her stomach, and she's got a lot of gas dilation through all of her intestines. So she's not the greatest anesthesia candidate, but my recommendation would be to go in and explore and make sure that what we're seeing on the x-rays is not a foreign body. So she has an obstruction and might need immediate surgery. This is really, this is bad. Okay, let's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call her back. Macy's the dog that came into the shelter just starving, and not just for food, also for love. I know, I know. Okay, okay. It's okay. I bonded with her right away like so many of you did because watching her chomping for her food because she was so hungry. She is taking these treats like she hasn't ever eaten anything. Almost not knowing what a dog food bowl was, she would only eat from me out of my hand. It was just heart-wrenching. I'm glad we got to go through health check with her. They immediately listed her as only available to rescue groups because she was in just such bad condition. Just feeding them a bunch of food can be a really dangerous path. You have to be very careful, take it slow. And I wanted to take her, but my farm is not suited for that right now. Good news. We got permission to break Macy out of there. Chief said that we could take Macy and I am basically at this point adopting her. I am her first adopter. Hi, sweetie. You're adopted. I'm taking you home, baby. Yay, you're a part of the family now. You're adopted. You're gonna be okay. When I went in there and saw her, it's like she knew. And I told her the good news. And I'm so happy that I get to actually follow through with this and the plan worked and everyone's behind it. And so we grabbed her, we took her out of there. I always worry in this situation with a dog who likely hasn't been on many car rides, if they're gonna panic or how they're gonna do in the car. Now she didn't just jump up into the car because she didn't she didn't know what that is, right? Like she doesn't know to jump up into the car. So I just kind of scooped her up, put her in there. She was really good about it. And on the trip, she was so good. She cried a little bit. There were a couple cries, but more than anything, she was just interested. Like she was looking out the window, taking it all in. She probably ever hasn't ever had anything like this where it's just a calm, relaxing car ride. And so even though she's probably anywhere from five to seven years old, she's never experienced it anything like this, most likely not. So it's fun to be on this journey with her. As we're driving, I'm getting a little emotional because this is kind of the first step in her journey of her new life. It's the very first chapter of what will now be her fairy tale story. I want to explain this to her. I wish she understood, but it's kind of like she does understand, like she knows because she's given me her trust. And so she trusts me. She, she knows that the next step, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be good. Okay, so this facility that we're going to, I have never been there before. So we're gonna go in and check it out, make sure it, it's good. Because I said, I wanna board her in a vet assisted facility so that she can have regular checkups because I've seen emaciated dogs have situations where it goes south very quickly. You think they're fine, there's something internal really wrong or all the food that they take in, they take it in too fast, bloating happens, who knows, right? It could be all kinds of different issues. And I don't want that to happen to Macy. I wanna give her the best shot, the best chance. And I don't wanna get her adopted out with all these unknowns. Like, does she have a problem like cancer or does she have a, an overactive thyroid or, you know, because it could be she was starved and she has these issues, not either or. Remember at the beginning of the video where I got a call from the vet? Well, that was the next day after I left. Then uh, we'll just, we'll cross our fingers then and wait. Okay, thank you so much. They're gonna walk her, they're gonna do x-rays one more time and then she's gonna call us back and give her recommendation, which could include rushing her into surgery. So, fingers crossed that she's okay. Macy's vet called me back a couple hours later with a big update. But first, let me show you the facility that Macy's staying at. Okay, so we get in there. The first thing we do, we take Macy and we weigh her. Get this, this is how much she weighs. What's she coming up? 49. Oh, she's already put on some. Yeah. She's already gained weight, which is good. This is a good thing. She's already on the right path. It means that it's likely not only a medical issue because she is gaining that weight. She does have the capacity to gain that weight. So that's good. That makes me feel a lot better. So we take her in, we meet the new team and they're fantastic. They get right to work checking her out, uh, recommending what they think the process should be that we take her through. And I completely agree. I think all those things they recommended are fantastic and it's gonna be expensive. And so everyone who's become a member, thank you. That helps 
pay for all of this. If you want to become a member or send a super thanks or anything like that, this is going to cost a fair amount of money, thousands and thousands of dollars, but she's so worth it. And because of all of you, it's making this possible. We're able to do this. We're able to come together and help a dog that's been in a very bad situation. And I just have to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. If you are a member, Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you want to become a member, that would be awesome. And if you can't, just watching this and supporting this and sharing this, it means the world to me because it makes all of this possible. And so she'll go in to have her space surgery in about a week. They want to make sure she's balanced, get all her levels. And when they do that, we'll get her microchip injected. They'll kind of do everything while she's under the anesthesia that they can at that moment. We got a tour of the facility and it is amazing. When this place was built, I don't know who built it, but they really put some money into laying this out right. Not everyone has such an amazing facility like this. And can I just tell you, I feel really comfortable because of all the animal statues around here. It's like, you can tell a real animal lover built this place. So then we got to tour the rooms and we were coming on all the rooms and I found this one that I thought was just perfect. Like it's a, it's a room I would stay in. It's so nice. It's got a window to the outside of the play yard so she can see the other dogs, start making new friends. And so I asked if we could, if that that could be the room that she stayed in. Okay. I'll, pay, I'll pay for that one if, you, if it's open. Or sure, I'll have you have talk with Miranda. Okay. They told me a little bit later that because of the holiday time they had it booked up, that room actually had been scheduled. So, ah oh man, uh, but at the last second, they gave me really good news and they said they were able to rearrange things and work it out. Macy is going to get to spend this time at the resort in the sunshine room. So soft, she's got her toys. A big old bowl of water. This is great. Let's talk about something before I say bye to her and I almost started crying. What's the plan? Well, I want her here for a month because I want her to have plenty of time to fill out, to get healthy, to go through that procedure in the next week or two of getting spay and neutered, teeth pulled. I want to make sure she's balanced. So the family that does adopt her, we're sending a dog to them that has a high chance of success because we know she's healthy, happy, full, on the right track. And so that's what I, that's kind of the promise that I'm trying to fulfill to her, the promise that all of you get to be a part of, especially if you're a member and you've been on this journey, is we're gonna make her whole before she goes to her next family. So I am going to add the link that you can go to if you wanna fill out an adoption application. Be patient, it is quite literally myself and Alexis and, and maybe Kelly, like a couple team members, all of us trying to go through applications and and don't, you know, if we aren't able to get back to you, I'm sorry, I still appreciate you. Um, but fill out that application because she is going to be available for adoption and we will start going through all of that and share this if you know anybody that might want to adopt a dog because we've got to spread the word about her. I had to say goodbye to her and it's hard, right? Because like I adopted her technically and I, I want to just scoop her up and hold her and keep her and save her. And, uh, but this is the place that she needs right now. This is the medical care that she needs. And, and I think it's the right decision. And so um, I said bye to her. It was bittersweet. All right, you're in good hands from here. I'll be back very soon. Don't you worry. You need anything, you just, just shoot me a text message. <laughs> <laughs> and you can call anytime, any day. We okay. will give you an update on how she's doing. Uh, Come by anytime. Oh, it's gonna be okay. You're okay. Yeah. We'll get a walk up done. Yeah. As soon as all the results come in, we'll You're let okay. you know. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, baby. Okay, we'll Missy. see you soon. Hi, Missy. Okay. Good. Bye, girl. Okay, but remember, we got a call from the vet. They were doing a second checkup. So what ended up happening to Macy? Well, let me share with you the call that I got that night from Macy's vet. Her X-rays looked a little suspicious earlier, so that was part of my panic email, my panic voicemail. Okay. She had just a lot of gas all throughout all of her intestines oh. and her stomach. I think we were seeing a little bit, I can't 100% say it's still not there, but uh, some of her kibble or the dehydrated food in her stomach, and I was like, is that what that is, or could she have a piece of cloth or something in there? So we took her for a long walk, she did a bowel movement, and then we rechecked the x-rays, and they looked better, although she still has a lot of gas in her stomach. So I ran to the drugstore and I just picked her up some gas X, so we're gonna try that for a few days. Oh, sure, okay, so it might just be gas. I think so. Uh, I was a little worried for a second. I was like, if these reds don't change, we're going to need to take this up for an explorer, which was not my ideal yeah. heart condition. But and I was you, like, she might have a foreign body in there. So. Yeah, and you know what? It um, could be because, you know, the shelter's just working with what they have and they switch foods and it's like anything from, you know, bits and... Yeah, they did say today she's a little bit... I mean, obviously she eats really fast or ravenous, so I think she swallows a lot of air when she does that. Oh, um, Obviously, we just switched her 
anywhere from whatever they were feeding at the shelter to her new food, so that, you know, is always a change to their system. Okay. And um, so they're feeding her now with what we call slow feeder. Um, Great. So that should hopefully help end the gas egg. So I think we're not at the point where I'm feeling like the, it is a foreign body or its destruction. All right. Well, I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll probably be in early next week to come see her. Okay, just, sounds good. Yeah, thank you so much. We are going to come back and check up on her. So make sure you're following. I'll do Insta stories and uh, and keep you guys updated. We're going to, I want to go shopping for her and get her some fun stuff. So thank you for being a part of this journey. Make sure you subscribe so you continue to get updates and let's just keep helping some more dogs.